Hello, welcome everybody to another Facebook Friday, right? Another Ferlici Friday. We are here. It is a beautiful summer day, the beginning of July. It is like just an absolutely gorgeous day outside. Got to take Storm, my puppy, on a walk this morning. Got a good workout in. Feeling good, ready for the day, ready for the weekend. Hopefully you guys are all doing well. So thank you so much for joining me. I'm Amy Ferlici and I'm so glad that you're all here with me today. So hello, Miss Trish. Welcome, welcome. So we are going to be playing with, okay, this, this stamp set just makes me smile, which is like why we do this, right? Love to play with these cute things. Hi, Philomena. Now, welcome, welcome. Um, and that, you know, kind of bring you joy, right? Especially when life is crazy sometimes, right? So why not play with cute stuff and make yourself smile and make other people smile too when you share your cards and projects with them as well. So thanks for the share there, Philomena. And Miss Bonnie, <laughs> hi, you're so cute. I shared exclamation point, exclamation point. Thank you for the share. And good morning to you all. So we are going to be playing with, this is the, I'm trying to find the right angle here, the bird's eye view stamp set. So of course it's backwards right now. Now, but you are going to fall in love with this stamp set if you haven't seen it in action yet. So many cute little birdies. I love like birdies and owls, especially. I love owls. I have lots of like kind of owl motif decor around the house too. But these birdies, especially when you put the little glasses on them, they're so stinking cute. I paired this stamp set with this is called the Glorious Gingham Designer Series Paper. I'm going to pull it out so you guys can see. And let's see, can I tell you the colors? Um, we have, let's see, we kind of fan them out and maybe I'll kind of get the names as I'm fanning them out. I think, I think I've got them all, right? So we have Blueberry Bushel, Lemon Lime Twist, Pretty Peacock, Berry Burst, and I think this one is Pecan Pie, but let me check here. In, in very small print, I'm pretty sure as I'm squinting pecan, pecan Pie. So sorry, Trish, I'm seeing you're saying, sorry, wrong button, LOL. Maybe, maybe you hit like a like a thumbs down or something. I didn't even see it. I get like distracted with um, what I'm doing. So whatever you did, I didn't even see it. So don't even worry about it. And then here is the back side. Let's see, let me get these fanned out a little bit more. Where's my blue, right? There we go. So kind of a cute little gingham pattern on one side and then a more bold like check pattern on the other side. But love this paper. As soon as I saw it in the catalog, I'm like, oh, this is my kind of paper right here. Absolutely. So yes, ging glorious gingham. So you'll see how fun this is to pair the glorious gingham DSP with the bird's eye view stamp set. And we'll be playing with that in just a little bit while, a little, a little while, a little bit while on Facebook Live, right? So the other thing you guys need to know, if you don't know about this already, I emailed, I think it started, well, yesterday, Thursday, July 6th. I can see my calendar vaguely over there. Um, yeah, so Thursday, July 6th started the bonus days. So they do that a lot of times in the summer, which is a great promotion. Basically, you get a $5 coupon, a bonus days coupon for every $50 that you spend on products. So it doesn't include the tax, so it's before tax and shipping. Um, but for every $50 in product that you purchase, you get a $5 bonus day coupon. Make sure your email address um, in terms of your customer profile is a good email address that you use and you check because that's how you get those bonus days coupons right after you put an order in. Uh, Stampin' Up! will send you those bonus day coupons and you just want to tuck them away somewhere um, so that you can use them beginning in August on your orders in August. So you'll be able to as many five dollar coupons as you get then you can use those on your orders in august so very very cool so keep that in mind it's basically the whole rest of the month of july bonus days five dollar coupon with every fifty dollars um, in product that you order okay so let me know if you have any questions on that um, but i think that's kind of an awesome little thing that they do the other thing that they have brought out are, are some more online exclusives jamie hello and welcome now the one thing it's funny because as demonstrators we've been able to pre-order some things from the online exclusives kind of offering they wouldn't let us order everything which i feel like that's like the first time that they've done that um what i am noticing though is there's always this huge rush to get these things for example the one thing that we weren't able to pre-order and then it was funny because I went to put an order in yesterday um, and this item wasn't available when I was first putting my order in and then I tried it one more time a little bit later as I was finishing up my order and I was able to order it 
and now I think it's back on unorderable, but it is the super cute, and I don't have a picture of it. I wish I had printed something, but it's one of those, you know, like the olden days, like pickup truck, and it's a punch with that cute little, you know, I always think of like Sanford and Sons, like that pickup truck that they showed on that show from like way back in the day, right? Um, but bright, pretty red is how they're out, they're featuring it um, in a lot of the um, publications. Um, but it's something that caught my eye, and it was so funny because I, I feel like I was looking and other people were asking like, where is that? Why can't we get that? Because I kind of had it in um, like the little flyer for online exclusives that were coming. Um, and so that's what happened. We weren't able to order it and now we are, but I think it's actually already unorderable. Although who knows, like it changed so quickly yesterday. Maybe it's back to being orderable again because the punch is available. It's the stamp set. So that's on Stampin' Up! because we make our stamps. Punches we order from another manufacturer. Um, so that's a little bit hard because you know, I think they probably ship from China or somewhere, so it takes a little while to get those things to us. But hopefully they're cranking out more of those stamp sets, um, so they'll be back to being orderable again if they're not. But there are lots of things that are now available in the online exclusives. So basically the easiest way, because like I said, I didn't print the flyer, but you can't even really see it that well. I've lost my color printing capabilities for now. I got to figure out how to get those back. So it's not even as pretty if I were to show you the flyer. But what you can do, just go to stampinup.com and probably the very one of the very first banners. And if it's not, you could just type in um, in the search bar online exclusives um, or one of the drop downs is definitely going to be the online exclusives as well. Because the thing about those is they're not in any catalogs. They're not in our annual catalog. They're not going to be in our holiday catalog. They're only available while supplies last. But this is what I noticed. Oh, Jamie says July 17 is what it said last night for the stamp set. Yeah, you're right. So not very long. Exactly. So what? Like, gosh, well, 10 days. Um, and, and what's funny is, like I said, it's almost like maybe they found some in inventory or something. I don't know. Because like I said, I was able to order it. I ordered a couple of them. And then um, now they're not able orderable again. So who knows? But soon enough, they'll be back. Because a lot of times they put that date out there and it's kind of like a further out date and then they are available. So just keep trying. If you haven't been able to order that cute, can't, it's like gone trucking or something like that. Something trucking stamp set um, and bundle. So, But it's cute. It's going to be fun. But there's lots of other great stuff to order in the meantime. So don't fret. But what I keep trying to say also, and I'm, I'm interrupting my own self here, is that um, all of those things that have been offered in online exclusives, everybody wants them right away and so they sell out and then you maybe get frustrated because you can't order them right away. But basically, since we started the online exclusives, all of that stuff is available now because I thought, you know, maybe it's only going to be around for like a month or two and then it's going to go away. But I think that, you know, they're stocking enough so that they're going to be around for some period of time. So don't worry. You'll be able to get any of those things that are not orderable. You'll be able to get them. Um, just keep trying. So, yeah, but I just wanted to make sure you guys knew that, that they're going to, I think they're going to be available for a while. I guess it just depends on sales though, too. Like when the supply is gone, it's gone. That's why it's not in the catalog anymore. Or that's why they're not putting it in the catalog, I guess. So they have more flexibility with that. But like I said, I mean, there's a huge annual catalog of tons of stuff to choose from. So there's, I'm sure there's something else that you would love to get if you can't get something right away. So just keep it in mind. Um, okay, I think we are ready. Let me just make sure. Um, yeah, let's do our first drawing for, these are the adhesive backed solid gems. So cute, super cute. I love, there's just always like little, like the olden days candy, right? <laughs> so kind of lemon lolly, I'm gonna say boho blue, and maybe pecan pie there also are the colors in there. I'm totally guessing on that. Oh, yes, and you're right, Jamie, I did see those too. Yes, she's saying they brought the scoring blades back. So that's for the um, Stampin' Trimmer. Um, those are on the online exclusives too. And if you need circle punches, they have a two inch circle punch and a one and three quarter inch circle punch that are on the online exclusives. So there's definitely, just check it out. There's a whole list, a whole host of things, not in the catalog that are um, just online. Okay, so here we go. Names in the drawing right now. If you shared our last Facebook Live video or if you signed up for my email list. And I actually do have another class to go, finally. So if you, next time on our next Facebook Live, if you share my class to go kit post, your name goes in here also. Okay, so lots of ways to get your name in the drawing to win. These are the adhesive backed solid gems. I keep like feeling a bunch stuck together, so I gotta separate them off. Okay, 
So here we go. One lucky winner is, let's see, who do we have? Miss Vina Gomez. You are so lucky. I feel like I draw your name pretty regularly, but she's a wonderful watcher and sharer of the video. So she's she's got in her, her name in here about every week. So keep that in mind. If you share the video, your name could be in here every week and you could win regularly too. So Vina, I will get these um, adhesive back solid gems sent out to you. Thank you for your share. All right, we gotta get rid of dump those out let me get ready for the next drawing okay um let's see we are well not next drawing but on our next facebook live which i have figured out i have been desperately trying to get back to my every other week of facebook live which is essentially what i've been doing um lately and i'm gonna have to go to well three weeks is what it's gonna end up being so the next Facebook Live, when we do the drawing for, these are the Tinsel Gems 4-pack, another cute little package of bright bling, right? There's um, Lemon Lime Twist up here that you can't see. And then, mm, gosh, why am I even trying to do this? A pink, a blue, and a green. <laughs> I can't remember the names. I have, them, I have them jotted on the back of my little package, but not on this one. Anyway, so like I was saying, we will draw for these Tinsel Gems, the four pack on our next Facebook Live, which is the last Tuesday, I'm sorry, the last Friday of July, which is going to be the 28th of July, because my, uh, this is what's happening the next couple of Fridays, my son, my, my teeny tiny baby son, Cade, is turning 21 years old next Friday on July 14th takes me way back. I say teeny tiny um, because he was born very prematurely at only two pounds, six ounces. Now he's over six feet tall and like 200 pounds. So very healthy, strong, happy guy, very blessed. You know, we started out a little um, on the crazy side, but he's flourished and done, done, excuse me, done very, very well um, throughout his years. So he's turning 21, my baby, my little buddy, Kate is turning 21 next Friday. So no Facebook Live next Friday. And then the following weekend, I'm going up north with um, some friends. We do a girls crafting weekend. We had generally done one like in the spring and in like fall, winter. And we're going to do one in the summer up in Petoskey. So I don't know how much crafting we're going to do. I'm really hoping it's beautiful weather and we're going to be able to be out um, at, on Lake Michigan and having a hoot and holler fun time. But anyway, so we got lots of things going on the next couple weekends in July. Um, so I apologize, although I do have to say I love being able to get outside and be with my family and my friends during the summertime because summer is so short here in Michigan, right? So we got to take advantage of it. So anyway, at any rate, kind of a very long explanation to say our next Facebook Live for sure is going to be on July 28th. So it's actually like three Fridays from now. And then I'm going to really try. I got, haven't looked at my August calendar yet, but I'm hoping to get back to the every other Friday. So we can get get back on track, right? So yes, in the meantime, share this video right here. Sign up for my email list. The link will be above this Facebook Live video post this afternoon. Or um, share my class to go kit post, which I'm super excited to share those cards with you in just a little bit. Your name will go in the drawing to win those tinsel gems, the four pack, okay? Um, Let's see. Oh, I want to make sure because I've been um, <coughs> meaning, I think I sent an email out now today trying to remember. Uh, bingo. We're playing bingo right here in Alma um, on Thursday, July 27th. So the day before Facebook Live, we're going to play bingo right here in Alma on Thursday, July 27th at six o'clock. So if you're local in the area here, I'd love to have you come join us and play bingo with us. We play bingo for prizes, for stamping up product prizes. We do make and takes. We just kind of have like a really fun, like relaxed um, enjoyable evening. We do a grand prize cover all game at the end where everybody, um, like you buy boards and whoever covers their board first wins the pot of money, uh, $5 per board. So we put all of that money in a pile and then I throw in an additional $25 and whoever wins that big pot of money gets to go on a Stampin' Up! shopping spree. So that's super fun too. So love to have you join us. I will include the link um, for that sign up um, above this Facebook Live video, the details for the Facebook Live video this afternoon also. I'm feeling like a tickle in my nose. I'm gonna hope that I don't um, sneeze all over everything. Okay, so yeah, if you're interested, let me know. I can get you more details on that, but it's right here at the um, 
Peace Lutheran Church, which is where I hold all of my events now. Um, so that's where we will be doing um, our bingo night on Thursday, July 27th from 6 to 9 p.m. And then also just wanted to give a quick reminder about the Super Summer Giveaway. That's something that I'm doing all summer long where basically you're going to get your chance to win a fun product. Hello, Sheila. How are you? Um, fun product all summer long. This is how you, you get your name in the drawing. One ticket or one entry for each event you attend. Two entries for every $50 that you spend. That's online, um, just emailing me orders, uh, coming to classes and events, putting orders in there. You get your, like I said, two entries for every $50 you spend. Two entries for every project that you post right here to our Facebook group with that hashtag, the Super Summer Giveaway hashtag. I keep meaning to post some things myself and I'm like, okay, this next week I'm going to get to it been too busy enjoying summer, I guess, which that's not a bad thing, right? But I want to make sure um, to get some fun projects posted out there so you guys can see and kind of get you motivated to make your posts because it's so easy, right? Uh, share a picture of a project you've made wish that, with that hashtag Super Summer Giveaway and you get two entries into the Super Summer Giveaway drawing. Also, if you bring a new guest to class, you get two entries. If you join a club, Simple Beautiful Card Club, Class to Go Kit Club, Scrapbook Club, In Color Club, Paper Pumpkin, you get three entries into the drawing. And then five entries if you buy the starter kit or if you would like to do a private party or class. I'm going to have lots of product from our new, what will be our like mini, our uh Christmas like holiday mini catalog. I'll have some fun product to give away. That'll be in September. We'll do that. So you have right now, June, July, and August, super summer giveaway. Okay. So love to see what you guys are up to. Post your projects right on here. We always love to see what everybody else is doing. Everyone's kind of curious and nosy, right? And we just love to be inspired by each other too. So please share your projects. Um, okay, I think we are ready to do our next drawing. Okay, so we have, let's see, if you put an online order in through me um, using our June, it would have been the June host code, you get both of these projects. Oh, they're so cute. I love these. They look like baby cards to me too, I think. It's the it's the um, bubble bath cardstock that I used on the back, right? But this Oh, happy day. And then the thanks so much. So these are the cards that I made on our last Facebook Live. You automatically get both of these cards as a thank you from me for your $50 order, minimum $50. You also got to pick from the, I didn't, do I have those right here? Well, the free embellishment for June, which was the 2022-2024 in color uh, pearls or the demo design dream team PDF tutorial. You get to pick from either one of those and your name is in the drawing. And seriously, I still don't even have the stamp set. I ordered it, I feel like, you know, quite a while ago. I think it's coming like, I think it said tomorrow or Sunday. So I will have it and I will be sending it out to you. But we are going to draw right now for <laughs> the Lasting Joy stamp set. If you ordered through me and used the host code, your name is in the drawing right here. Okay, so, yep, I got the names in there. Okay, all right, so one lucky winner. And I feel like, do you know how that happens? Like you have a hair... It's tickling me. I don't know where it is. <laughs> anyway, sorry about that. I'm going to be like, okay. Soon enough, I'll turn the camera on. You won't be seeing me like scratching my neck trying to find that, <laughs> that stray hair, right? Okay, so here we go. All right, who is going to win the Last Enjoy stamp set? Let's see. One lucky winner we have, Miss Monica Talbot. All right, congratulations, Monica. I will get that stamp set sent out to you as soon as I get it, along with the cards. And I think she picked the free embellishment. So I'll get the free embellishment sent out to you also, Miss Monica. So thank you for your orders, you guys. Thank you so much. I try to make sure I say that every single time because I do always and forever truly appreciate your orders. So I know I say this all the time, right? But I know you have your choice of demonstrators. So I truly appreciate when you select me and use that host code. Um, and I love to reward you with those cards from Facebook Live with the free embellishment and the PDF tutorial and your chance to win a fun prize. <coughs> Excuse me. There we go. I knew it was coming. Okay. You know how it's never just once. Hopefully we'll see if I can get through. Okay. Uh, <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, maybe that's it. All right, so here we go. On our next Facebook Live, in addition to the cards, I'm going to show you guys in just a few minutes. Oh my goodness. Chew. <gasps> Excuse me. Your name is in the drawing to win. This I love. This was the stamp set that I used on those cards last Facebook Live, the Kindest Expressions stamp set. 
Shoo, I keep thinking I'm going to be able to make it stop, but okay. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> Thank you, Vina. I appreciate that. <laughs> okay, yes, yeah, so your name will be in the drawing to win this awesome kindest expression stamp set on our next Facebook Live. <coughs> okay, all right, I think. Am I done? Um, I think that's about it. Okay, I'm going to turn the camera down. Might grab a Kleenex. <coughs> excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. I don't know if it's because I've got my fan going overhead. Anyway, okay, we're turning the camera down, okay? Turn your heads away for a moment. We are going to fly through the air. Ooh. <coughs> if I can <laughs> get myself together here, I'm trying to get things cleared off a little bit here too. Okay, all right, turn your heads away for a sec. Here we go. <laughs> my goodness. Oops, oh yeah, I knew I see my, you see my fan going now, right? Okay, um, flip that camera. <laughs> okay, I'm going to give you the host code, which is like buried underneath here. Here we go. Okay, here is our, this is our host code for July. Oh, you, maybe can you see my scribbly notes? Hold on one sec. I'm going to grab a Kleenex. I'm going to try to get this taken care of. Mm. So, all right, I think, am I back? <laughs> I'm hoping to be back on track here. Mm, okay. Okay, so what do I want to show you guys next? Oh, you know what? I want to show you my scrapbook pages first, actually. So let's scoot this stuff out of the way. I do need to make sure, this is how I know if I'm in view, is if I can see my grid paper here, right? Okay. Here we go, here we go. Okay, so I'm gonna show you guys scrapbook pages. These are the pages that we've made. Let me think about this. So, I don't remember which one, but last month in June, we made one of these pages. Love, this is an example of the Brights Designer Series paper, another one of my absolute favorite. Little packs of paper, and then the Cheerful Daisy stamp set. Love those little spriggy dies, and then some of our um dots i think those are the old dots i'm trying to remember the name of them but they're like the bright yellow um is it coastal cabana gorgeous grape and maybe a mm, melon mambo i'm thinking anyway and then i love this this little your friendship means everything right um okay i'm gonna put my glasses on then i can see <laughs> yes you're right philomena so bright and happy yes and that is summer for us too right so i think these are great um pages this would be the idea this would be like your two-page scrapbook layout here right so we made this page last month and then um so that was may right end of may and then end of june we made this page we always make three pages so a single page spread that'll coordinate maybe from the previous month. And then these are kind of fun too, these cute little pages, this Oh Happy Day with that Zany Zoo Designer Series paper, some of that pretty ribbon, love that. And I always have to use some more little bling. That's actually the Tinsel Gems four pack. And then here is the other coordinating page, this smile because you're awesome. <laughs> so cute, right? And then I love, look at the little guy, Oh, that makes me think, oh, I would love to like roast marshmallows. So fun, right? And the little the little piggy doing, a, I was going to say he's dancing, but he's actually hiking. He's got his little backpack and his walking stick there. So super cute, huh? Just fun, simple scrapbook pages that we made um, this month and last month at scrapbook class. Always love to show you guys those. Now, okay, let me make sure, but I think I'm, yep, here we go. Okay, I want to show you guys, where's my class to go? Um, <clears throat> oh, it's way over here. I was trying to finish the write-ups for it. That's why. <clears throat> okay. This is pretty handy that I'm right here in my craft room, though, because nothing's ever too far away. But here we go. This is the So Refreshing class to go, featuring, obviously, the So Refreshing stamp set. I'm going to scoot these out of the way for a sec so we're not distracted, right? And then the So Refreshing dies, right? So you can see fun sentiments. Time spent together is the sweetest. 
happiest birthday and thank you kindly. And then we've got some pictures. So for example, this kind of shows like maybe your lemonade in your picture. And then this is the die that will die cut that right out, right? Um, these will cut like the little lemon or orange slices. This one right here cuts these flowers. You can see how you can kind of layer those all in there. And that's gonna cut that little baby out, the little lemonade cups and lots of other little doodads, including this fun little blanket with the fringe on it. So fun, right? Okay, so let me show you the four cards and then I'll tell you the options that are available, okay? So here's card number one, time spent together is the sweetest. Then we've got a thank you kindly, and I love um, this stripey pattern that we use. So that's this face right here. Cut that guy out right there. Then we've got a happiest birthday with this beautiful bouquet of flowers in that jar or vase. And then one more thank you kindly with the little fringy blanket there. Okay, so those are our four cards. Option number one includes the stamp set and the dies. It also includes a full package. This is the Brights 6x6 Designer Series paper. I, I'm trying to think if I have everything in here or not. I might have pulled out the colors that we used um, already, but you kind of get the idea, right? This is the Brights. This is also what we used on those scrapbook pages I just showed you. So fun, bright, bold, beautiful colors and patterns, right? The Brights Designer Series paper. You also get a full package of the tinsel gems. This is the three pack of tinsel gems. And then in option number one, you get the linen thread for free, plus the PDF tutorial, right? So bundle, DSP, gems, linen thread for free, all the parts and pieces to make two of each of these cards. So eight cards total, plus the PDF tutorial that tells you how to do all of this. Uh, $93 for option number one. Option number two includes just this stuff, right? Not the bundle, stamp set and dies. You make sure you have those because you need to do your own stamping and die cutting. You're going to get the DSP. You're going to get the gems. You're going to get the twine, all the parts and pieces to make two of each of these cards, uh, plus the PDF tutorial. So option number two is $40. It's an additional $10 for the priority mail shipping for the class to go kit option number one or option number two. As always, option number three, PDF tutorial, always available even after the RSVP deadline passes. That is $15. You're going to do everything on your own. You just want to know how to do it, right? Um, also, my downline gets the PDF tutorials for free. Any of my tutorials, you can look back years and years. They're all posted on my blog at gatheringinspiration.com. There is a PDF store on there, so feel free to take a peek there. Um, they email me all the time saying, hey, can I get this tutorial or that tutorial? Love to share those with my downline, again, free to any of my Inspired Stampers. Uh, $15 otherwise if you're not part of my Inspired Stampers group. And then option number four is the make and takes for my downline, my Inspired Stampers also they can get all the parts and pieces to make these cards they're going to use their own stamp and dies to do their stamping and die cutting but i give them the dsp the gems the twine everything that they need to put their cards together that is 15 dollars for the downline make and takes um what else what else what else rsvps are due by friday july 28th and the kits will ship out no later than august 6th if you have any questions, please let me know, but I will include the link in the details to this Facebook Live video for the class to go. I'm gonna be posting about it right here on our Facebook group and emailing about it as well. So hopefully you don't miss out on that. Love to get one of these fun kits sent out to you because they're just so, right, like fun, bright, beautiful, bold colors in this class to go. Okay, scooting this right out of the way. All right, guys, I think we are ready for our first project. I'm going to scoot this right here. Okay, so <laughs> here's our little birdie, right? So again, featuring the Bird's Eye View stamp set and then the Glorious Gingham Designer Series paper, right? So look at, now you guys can see they're not backwards, right? These super cute little birdies, so much fun. So here's this guy. You're going to ignore this and the little splotches of green because as I was cleaning things up, somehow I got my stamps all over everything and they kind of got onto my card. So um, yeah, just ignore the little, maybe you can't even, maybe you can't even tell, right? But you get the idea. So super cute little birdie. I love the glasses. I just think they're so cute. We've got a little woohoo. Congratulations because you totally deserve it. <laughs> yes, Philomena. I know he's so cute, isn't he? He's she, right? Okay. So let me show you how we are going to put this card together. 
I've got a bunch of stuff here. Okay. Mm. Let's see, what are we gonna do first? I'm like kind of blanking out. I haven't done this in a while, you guys. Okay, uh, not to fear though. I'm getting getting myself back on track. We used a bunch of blends, but we're gonna do our stamping. Okay, we're gonna scoot that there and that there. Actually, you know what I need to do? I need to tell you about um, <clears throat> the dimensions of things first, don't I? Let me do that. As, as soon as I get everything out, then I realize that's what I need to do first. But okay. So we are going to start, can I do that right there? So, oh, and as I'm thinking about it, I always like to mention on my blog at gatheringinspiration.com will be all of the details on how I made these projects, okay? So I'll give you the colors, the dimensions, the product codes, everything that you need to order and recreate these projects will be there this afternoon, okay? So here we go. We have, let's see. This is, what is this? This is Granny Apple Green cardstock, okay? So full sheet of cardstock. Along the 11 inch side, we cut it at five and a half inches. And then along the eight and a half inch side, we scored it at four and a quarter inches, okay? So there is our card base. Then we have a piece of basic white cardstock. This one measures three and seven eighths by five and one eighth. And then this DSP measures three and three quarters by five. Again, glorious gingham. This is blueberry bushel. And then there's the cute little gingham. Anna, hello. Welcome, welcome. Now I'm like looking to see, did I miss anything? Oh, we got Sharon too. Hi, Sharon. All right, I think I'm back on track. Um, also, another piece of basic white to go on the inside just for our stamping, the standard four by five and a quarter. Generally always layering that on the inside of my cards. Probably should change it up a little bit though, right? Okay, and then I just have some scrap pieces of basic white cardstock to do our stamping and die cutting. No worries, Miss Anna, you're welcome anytime. No one's ever late, right? Because you can always rewatch if you're curious about things. Okay, so we are going to, you know what I did actually? I thought it was easiest to die cut this piece first. So let's do that. Oops, are things like shaking? Sorry, we're probably like... Um, shaking it up here. So these are the countryside corners dies. So they're a little bit of a mess here, but we are using the third largest die. You can see kind of, right? I need to get my little, I need my helper, Miss Lily, um, to help me out with this. But there, they kind of see, there's that teeny tiny little banner. I haven't used that yet. You got to stamp something pretty small in there, right? And then that um, rectangle, I haven't used that one yet either, but that's like a great, right? Probably could have done the, now that I'm looking at that, probably could have done that woohoo right there. Who am I? I don't know. I like, I think I like that size better, but that's a good one also, right? Doesn't have the edges like these do, um, but still very cool. So typically I stamp and then die cut, but in this case, I want to make sure I get everything lined up. So I'm going to die cut first and then we are going to stamp. But I'm actually going to do my little woohoo here because we can do the die cutting at the same time, right? Okay, so here, oh, and you guys need to know where these stamps came from. So this is the Charming Sentiment stamp set. So here's the little woohoo right here. And then we've got, here's the congratulations with the exclamation point because you totally deserve it. So great sentiment stamp set, Charming Sentiment stamp set right there, okay? All right, so we're gonna use our Granny Apple Green Ink, nice, easy, tap, 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 right? You guys still see? Press straight down, lift straight up, there we go. There's something on there. I'm trying to get that off. Maybe you can't see it. I don't want to do that now though, because then I'll get granny apple green ink all over my fingers and then I'll be in trouble. Okay. The other thing I'm going to show you guys is these are called the nested essentials dies. I've used both of these a lot lately, but not this teeny tiny little guy. So I'm excited about using just that little one. And you can see they have, um, stitching around all of them, which you guys know how much we all love the stitching on our dies, right? Okay, so here, we're gonna scoot these over. Grab my die cutting machine. Okay, I'm gonna crank this out. Oh, I forgot to show you guys that too. Hopefully in a moment, I'm gonna do that. Um, how I came up with the color combination. I'm loving the color coach, but let me show you that in just a sec. Let's get these cut first, okay? 
someone's doing some trimming in their yard. Don't they know it's Facebook Live time right now? <laughs> I bet they don't, do they, huh? <laughs> oh, well, you guys probably can't hear it, but okay. So here's our little woohoo. So cute, huh? You see the little stitching there, right? Okay, we're going to layer that up there. And then here's our other little rectangle, I guess. Countryside Corners dies. It's got a little bit of a um, kind of an embossed edge there also. Okay. All right, so this is what I wanted to show you guys. Let's get serious now. We're going to use our black memento ink. Where's my card? Okay. So you can see I stamped the books first and then I put the birdie on top of the books. Okay. So actually let's go this way, right? Nice, easy tap, 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 right? I'm going to put the books. Uh, make sure I was looking and I thought one part of the books didn't look like it had ink on it. Okay. All right. Woohoo! Cute, huh? Even the books are cute. But check this out. The little birdie. So cute. Okay, the birdie standing on the books. Going right there. And then the birdie's glasses. Oh my gosh, I just think these are the cutest little things ever. Ha! Ah, how about that? <laughs> Sorry, I like screamed in your ears probably, didn't I, right? I just think he's so cute though. I love him, all right? So check him out, right? And he's, I'm going to be really careful not to get anything on this one because I'm going to take a picture of this next one that we make <laughs> and post it. I was like, I was going to take pictures and I'm like, no, I can't take a picture of that, right? That's awful. Um, okay, also we're going to do this stamping right here on the inside too with our blueberry bushel ink. Oh, and that's what is prompting me also. So Color Coach, love this thing. Great resource on our Stampin' Up! website. I will, um, I believe I can post a link. I'm going to try to do that because I love this. So for example, I realized I wanted to use this blueberry bushel um, designer series paper from that glorious gingham DSP. So I went to my color coach, found my blueberry bushel, and they gave me this great color combination of blueberry bushel, granny apple green, and real red. And you can see that's what I used, right? Blueberry bushel, granny apple green, and real red are right there. So fun, huh? Very simple and easy way to get great color combinations. Just basically whatever catches your eye is what you use, right? Or kind of sets the mood is another thing too, right? Okay, so on the inside, we're going to do a congratulations. Again, nice, easy tap, tap, tap. We are going to put that right there. And then because you totally deserve it. Ooh, there we go. Okay. All right. That on the inside. All right, we're going to set that aside also. You know what? Did I do that on the wrong one? I think I did. Let's see. That's the one that layers on there. We're going to stamp it on this one again now too, right? I realized when I tucked that back in there, I'm like, hold on. I have two pieces of basic white cardstock. But that's okay. You will never see that's going to be layered over top of that because that's the one that kind of frames that. So wrong one, Aim. Here we go. We're going to try it again. Okay, hopefully I do as well this time as I did last time. There we go. Okay, still happy with that. Perfect. All right, now for our coloring, which actually, well, I'm going to say I cheated and I colored already most of my my coloring, but let me, I wanted to kind of tell you guys what I did. So I started with the birdie is colored in all over in light crumb cake. And then I kind of did some shading around the feathers with the dark crumb cake, right? Then I actually used entirely, this is the Daffodil Delight. Yep, the dark blend. I colored his wing and then each of the layers of books, I just colored the light Granny Apple Green right there, and then the light Real Red right there, and then the light, I had Night of Navy. I didn't have Blueberry Bushel. I'm not even sure if we have Blueberry Bushel. I forgot to look at that, but this one I thought worked really well also. You can see Night of Navy, how well that coordinates, which is kind of cool with these blends too, the light and dark tones. You can kind of help make them be the color that you need them to be, and you're going to see that even more 
in my next card. Um, but what I wanted to show you guys, can you see I kind of did some like a little bit of shading, like I did some dark, darker Granny Apple Green, darker Real Red, and darker Night of Navy. So we're going to kind of just fill that in now. So I'm going to start with my dark Granny Apple Green. And we're going to just, just to kind of give it a little bit more dimension here. I'm just going to kind of color this in, right? And I've been meaning to mention, this is a good time while I'm doing my coloring, my son Cade, I posted about it on my personal Facebook page. Oh, okay, thank you, Sharon. Blueberry bushel blends are a thing. Okay, thank you very much for that. Now we know that for sure. So you could use Night of Navy or Blueberry bushel. Um, so yes, what I was saying, my son Cade is um, looking for work this summer. So if you have a need, if you live in the area and have a need for, um, he and his friend Brandon have kind of started their own little business this summer. They are doing lots of yard work. They're doing painting. They're cleaning gutters. They're doing power washing. They're doing whatever you need them to do. Um, I know I had a long list for them myself, um, and so they've kind of helped me out. Although power washing, we still need to do that around here. Um, but yes, so if you need any help, let me know. I can get you his phone number. Um, he's available pretty much all the time. So whenever you might need help, let, let me know, let him know, and we can get you whatever help you need. So I've been meaning to, he, he actually was like, mom, can I come talk on your Facebook live? And we meant to do that the last Facebook live. And then he ended up working and he's working today too. So I said, that's all right. I will just mention it. And if anybody's interested, they can let us know. Okay. So there we go. So I just kind of colored those in, just added a little bit. You can kind of see right there, right? And it doesn't have all that garbage, right? So even better. So, so cute, right? But there are lots of blends, but so fun and easy and relaxing, right? Doing that coloring, especially maybe if you didn't have to watch me do all of it, but you get the idea, right? Okay. All right. So let me know if you have any questions on that. We are ready to put our card together. And I need, let's see, what do I need? I need some adhesive and a glue dot and some scissors. And again, good thing it's all right here. And a sip of water. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, so I'll keep this one to color for another card for someone that I'm gonna send out to say thank you for your order, right? Okay, and dimensionals. Hi, Danielle, how are you? Glad you can join us. Okay, we're gonna just, while well, I have this flipped over, oh, this is a good thing to mention too, right? You can see the blends bleed through, so make sure you have a good work surface. You don't wanna ruin your table with your blends bleeding through, right? Okay, let's see, we're gonna put this on the inside here. I have my glasses on and then they start to make me feel dizzy. I don't know, it's one of those, do I need them? Sometimes I, do right obviously for the close-up but then when I'm working further away it doesn't work out so well okay so here we go next we are going to yeah that's throwing me it's all good though right this is cute on this side though too right the gingham sorry I'm probably like not fully in view there am I right okay hold on there we go okay now we're gonna layer both of these on our Granny Apple Green card base. See, I'm just doing the run it, tip it back technique to get that adhesive on there. Okay, now we are going to add our little birdie on the book. So this could be a graduation card if you are still in need of those or maybe a little bit past the time. Um, or maybe you're a little late in sending your graduation card, so that would work out perfectly, right? We are going to put a little woohoo right there and then just a little bit of adhesive on that side because I don't like them when they're crooked. So I want to pop this side up, but this one's going to kind of layer on part that's already popped up. So we don't need a dimensional on that one. Otherwise it looks crooked and that kind of bugs me. Okay, so these are the Baker's Twine Essential Pack. We are going to use the crumb cake twine because that matches our crumb cake blend right there. Glasses back on so I can see my bow making. OK, 
okay? Always the beauty of Stampin' Up! that everything coordinates, right? Even down to the twine. We've got colors of twine that coordinate with our ink pad colors. Pretty darn cool, huh, guys? Okay, so we've got our little bow here. We are going to flip this back to grab a mini glue dot. And I'm going to just kind of put that right in the corner. There we go, right? We've got our little woohoo! <laughs> Congratulations, because you totally deserve it. So cute, huh? And I love, like, again, these fun, bright colors. Loving them, especially for summertime, right? Okay, so that is project number one. We are going to, because now I'm afraid I'm going to get ink on things. We're going to clean these off a little bit, okay? And because I just wet my chamois, it was pretty well, there was like a little area right in the middle that was still kind of wet. Other than that, it was pretty dried out. Um, so, yeah, last night I took care of that before I went to bed. Okay. Just cleaning all these babies off, right? All right, there we go. We have clean stamps now. I can put those back in my tub here and show you our next project. Okay, I think we're good, right? Put this one out of the way. Okay, more fun, bright colors. On <laughs> This one's like super bright. How about this? The purple and the green. So let me show you. This time I decided I wanted to use, this is the Lemon Lime Twist um, pattern in that Glorious Gingham DSP. So I found on my color coach, Lemon Lime Twist, and here we have Lemon Lime Twist. Um, oh, it's actually this one right here. Mel sorry, Lemon Lime Twist, Poppy Parade, and Gorgeous Grape. That one looks really similar to the other color combo um, that I used on the last card. That's why I was drawn to it. But here, there's this one. But look, like Parakeet Party, how pretty that one is. The Parakeet Party, Lemon Lolly, and Pool Party. So many great, I can like, look, I could find so many fun. I like these two, the Old Olive, Coastal Cabana, Calypso Coral. So great ideas, right? Love using this color coach for my projects. Okay, so this one we have, not quite as many blends, but I'll put those right out there. We do have quite a few stamps again, but this stamp set is so cute. So gotta love it, right? Where is, I think I didn't bring it over. Mm -hmm, there it is. I see it, it's kind of hiding. I'll show you that in a sec though. Okay, let me tell you um, pretty dimensions of these guys also. Okay, so again, we have our gorgeous grape card base here, okay? So along the 11 inch side, we cut it at five and a half inches. And then along the eight and a half inch side, we scored it at four and a quarter inches. Thank you, Philomena. I'm glad you like that card. All right, then we have a piece of, <laughs> I know, I know it's pretty bright and bold, isn't it, Anna? Yeah, but when I saw it, I was like, okay, I think we can do it. And even with the, the Poppy Parade too, it's a very it's a very bold color combo for sure. Uh, okay, so then here we go. DSP is three by four inches. That's going to layer right there. Then we have a piece of, this is more lemon lime twist cardstock that measures four and one quarter by three and three quarter. I'm sorry, two. Four and one quarter by two and three quarters. That's going to go right there. And then our basic white layering over that that measures four inches by two and a half inches. And that is going to go right there. Okay. Then on the inside of our card, another layer as always, the five and a quarter by four inches right there. And then we've got a little piece, um, a little scrap piece of basic white cardstock for our sentiment right there. Okay. All right. So we can do, actually, there's only one little bit of die cutting. So why don't we do that and then we can get our stamping going, okay? So with our Gorgeous Grape ink, and this stamp set is the Circle Sayings stamp set. I liked that little thank you right there. So we're going to use that thank you stamp in our Gorgeous Grape grape ink the tap 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 press straight down lift straight up isn't that so cute that font there's something about the font on that just another happy maybe it's a happy font too right okay all right <clears throat> grab the die cutting machine again here we go put a little thank you on there we are using these are 
the stylish shapes. Yeah, all of a sudden I was like, is that what they are? Stylish shapes, dies, the circles. We're going to use the third smallest. <laughs> yes, it is such a cute set, isn't it? Yes. So share that back again since Jamie's mentioning that, right? So we've got fun sentiments. The warm hello, because you're awesome. Um, smile today. Happy birthday. Thinking of you. Sending you a, so you could do, what do you say? Thinking you, or thinking of you, sending you a warm hello. And then all these cute little images that'll coordinate in there also. Yeah, very, very cute. I agree, Miss Jamie. Okay, so we're going to die cut our little thank you there with our circle from our stylish shapes dies. And that's all we've got. Again, more stitching. Gotta love it, right? Okay, let's scoot this baby out of the way. Go that way, get that caught in there so it doesn't fall out on me. All right, okay. So let's see. Now we can do our stamping. This is our piece right here. Okay, so we're gonna do our stamping again with our black memento ink. I thought it was best to, hold on, let me get my glasses on here. Um, I thought it was best to do the branch first. We'll bring our card back into view, okay, so you can see what we're doing here. So we're going to stamp the branch, and I actually went off the edge. Let's see, I need my little scrap piece so I can preserve my grid paper for a bit. Oh, look at that. See, I'm always making a mess. We're going to just flip that right over. Okay. I don't even, sometimes I'm like, where do I even get ink on my hands? I'm not even sure. Actually, we're going to do this all on here, right? Okay. So we are going to stamp a little branch right there. And then the leaves. I love how these leaves just kind of, and they're kind of forgiving too, right? So if you kind of go off the edge or something, or if they're not quite right. Isn't that so cute how that layers right on there? Isn't, that's just great. Very simple and easy. And then we're going to stamp our birdie. Nice, easy tap, tap, tap. We're just going to try to make sure his feet. There we go. He was just coming in for a landing on that one, I'd say, right? And then on the inside, I stamped that little, haha. He's like a little chick, right? We're going to stamp him in our gorgeous grape on the piece that goes on the inside of our card. Just trying to make sure I have all my stamping there. In my black memento ink, we are going to use Gorgeous Grape. Let's scoot that guy out of the way, right? We're going to stamp right on this one with our little, our little chickadee, little birdie. He's so cute. I have to show him again just because I think he's so cute. <laughs> all right, there we go. Enough of that, right? Uh, so I think we used all of the stamps, right? And then I actually, again, did my coloring already. I will show you kind of what I did here and we'll finish this one off also. So I used, this is one of, it's, it's number SU200. This is part of like the, um, skin tone collection, I think it was called. So this is one of the colors in that skin tone collection. Then I used Gorgeous Grape. This is right here. I used the Gorgeous Grape Dark Blend right on there. And then I used my Poppy Parade. So I colored all over on his tail and his wing in the light Poppy Parade. And then can you see how I have some stripes on there? I went back and kind of Every other one, I used my dark poppy parade and kind of colored him in. I used that um, Daffodil Delight for the little nose. And then on these, I used, now I did not have Lemon Lime Twist, but I had Parakeet Party, and I think that one works well enough. So I used my light. Let me see which one is light and which one is dark. Yeah, so I used my light all over. And now we're going to go back in, and can you see there's just a little bit of shading in here? So we're going to do that on this one right here. And all I did was just kind of color um, where that line is, and then it just kind of fades out, but it adds just a little more kind of dimension, really, to our project, okay? So that's all I did, really. So very simple, coloring was easy, just need a few shades of blends. And like I said, you can kind of, actually, you know what? 
That's what I was just thinking of. This is actually Highland Heather. I didn't have <coughs> Gorgeous Grape. If Sharon's still watching, maybe she'll tell us. I bet we do have Gorgeous Grape blends. But this is the Dark Highland Heather. And do you see? I mean, I think it works really, really, really well with um, Gorgeous Grape. So again, you can kind of bend the colors to be what you need them to be, I think. Okay, I think we are ready to put things together here also. So we are going to, and again, make sure you've got something that you're, a little work surface that you're working on there because those blends bleed. All right, we got that. We put some dimensionals behind this. So my little ring here, have a little, a fun story. Um, we were at the beach in Muskegon last weekend over 4th of July and these little girls, two you know, I don't know, 10 year old girls or about maybe eight and 10, I'm not sure, um, came up to us with their dad and told us they were selling these little rings and bracelets. And so this whole group of us, we all bought either a ring or a bracelet. And then most of the young girls, like my daughter and my nieces and the friends um, all wanted ankle bracelets too. So they put an order in and the girls ran back to their tent on the beach and <laughs> made the ankle bracelets too and then came back a little while later with with their next order. So it was very cute because they kept saying, we can make you whatever you would like. <laughs> and so they did. So very, very cute. But that's kind of, Lily and I got matching little rings there. So I think it's kind of fun. A little summer reminds you of summer, right? Okay, so that goes right on there. We have our, again, our sentiment. And I am going to just put a little dimensional down there and a little bit of adhesive there so that it's not crooked. Once again, we're gonna put the little thank you right about there. And then I'm going to use, this is that ribbon duo combo pack. I think I used this a couple weeks ago. So petal pink with the stripe, and then this one is lemon lime twist. So I love the stitching right on those ribbons. But we are gonna use this one our lemon lime twist. So we're gonna just make a little bow here. Okay, that one and that one and that one. Okay, trim that down just a little bit, right? We're gonna grab another glue dot and tack this baby on. And again, I'll have Everything that you need to know about these cards on my blog this afternoon, gatheringinspiration.com. So you can get your orders in and make all these cute projects too, or make other cute projects, right? Because if you put an order in through me, you're going to get these projects also. Oh, Sharon says gorgeous grape blends are not a thing. So Highland Heather right there works perfectly with gorgeous grape. Thank you, Sharon. <laughs> I appreciate that. All right, we are going to add a couple of these are the neutrals adhesive backed sequins. And I think these are just beautiful. So I went with this kind of dark, <coughs> I don't know, dark brown copper. So they've got um, little, um, what do they have? They have mini glue dots on the back of them, Amy. That's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> So you can just peel them off. Make sure you dig underneath there, though, so you get the little mini glue dot, right? And I just added a couple of those, and there we go. There's our little thank you, right? So, so fun. Yes, cute summer cars. You you are right about that. And hello, Kristen. Thanks for joining us. All right, ladies, I hope you enjoyed these cards today. Again, featuring that bird's eye view stamp set and the glorious gingham designer series paper. I've got to show that, the lemon lime twist, right? So such pretty, fun, bright colors there also. So as always, here we go. Quick reminder, if you put an online order in through me using this host code right here, the... 37-A-F-E-E-D-N, right? It's almost like you could make, there's kind of a word in there, right? <clears throat> you get one of each of these projects that I demonstrated today. Your um, choice of either, where's our free embellishment for July? It is, these are called what? These are the adhesive backed sparkle gems. You can pick from the gems or the demo design dream team PDF tutorial. And your name is in the drawing to win where is it? Everything's so piled up over here. The Kindest Expressions stamp set, right? So projects, 
Facebook Live drawing, choice of a free embellishment or PDF tutorial. Just use that host code. All you gotta do, you could order this cute little bird's eye view stamp set if you don't have it yet. Make these fun projects too. All right, thank you guys so much for joining us. It was great to be back with everybody today. Hope you're having a great uh, summer so far. Don't wish it away, right? Hopefully it lasts forever and ever, right? <laughs> All right, bye everybody. Thanks for hanging out with me today. Have a good weekend.